Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's February 5th of 2023. It's almost 1 p.m. and it's uh, nice and warm here and all the snow and ice I think has all disappeared. Uh, you're not going to be surprised when I tell you that I made a change and I know you're going, no, no. Uh, David, I know will be uh, complaining that I make too many changes and others and they're 100% right I do um, <clears throat> I just woke up this morning and I well I was laying in bed a little while and I, I thought mm. and I I was just laying there and I was thinking you know I've got, you know, Windows 11. I got two computers running Windows 11. I got a computer running Windows 11. Everything seems to be working fine. And then I have another computer running Windows 11. Um, and everything's working fine. But, and I was thinking, you know, really what I need is space. I, I have, you know, this desk here filled with two monitors. I have a desk over here filled with actually this morning there were two monitors were there and one monitor was but anyway I thought you know what I need is space I've got projects and things that I want to do and I just don't have any place to sort things out uh, I've got a tablet and just an Amazon tablet got an Amazon tablet um, that you know I have to lay someplace and then it falls down or whatever and I thought you know what I need is space so I got up and moved everything um, I have something I want to do while I'm able I have I have pictures or you know Photographs that are over a hundred years old, of, you know, family and stuff like that. Got all kinds of pictures, a lot of pictures, and I'd like to do something with them. I'd like to show them. I know everybody. We all take pictures with our cell phones, and and uh, that uh, eighty percent charge still left on here, uh, and now I have room to set it over there. Um, I I wanted you know I need room. That's what I need. So that's why I did it. Now tomorrow I may decide. No, I don't need room. I need another computer over here. God, I hope not. But yeah, picture of my little kids in the swim pool when they were little. Here I am. When I was at St. Vincent's grade school. And we were doing old King Cole. He called for his pipe and he called for his bow. And I think that's when I brought him his bow. I want to try to put these in a sort of a, in order. Sort of like, you know, so if, if somebody, when I put these videos on or these on there, that, you know, there's a progression. If you start started watching them, you would see, and, you know, uh, here is my mother, who I called Betty, uh, all her life, and she's with her mother, her mother, who she called Mom, and who I also called Mom. Here's, uh, okay, is, I don't know now, That's, my mind is starting to go, I think, you know. This was during World War II, one of my uncles, a sergeant, I got his severums there covered up, uh, in the United States Army, and uh, I think that's Sergeant First Class, I think. You know, a lot of these names I'm, I'm forgetting, and my mother, before she passed for years, my mother wanted me to uh, sit down with her and she could show me the pictures. Here, 
You know something? I wonder if this sink is, let's see, testing? No, it looks like it's okay. Because it's taking a while for the, uh, seems like when I hold this up. This is Savannah, Georgia. My father was uh, working on the H-bomb plant. Uh, this is July 4th, 1952. My father and myself. That's, no, I was going to say it was the first time I've seen the ocean, but no, during World War II, my parents were. And I was out in uh, California as a baby, an infant or whatever. This is also the same day, so this is uh, Betty and uh, Jimmy. That's my mother. And me being splashed by the Atlantic Ocean. This is December 1950. Uh, that's me on my bicycle. My father was, uh, my father didn't show me how to ride a bicycle or uh, do anything. I got this bicycle, so, see, 1950, I was born in 41. I'd been nine years old. And uh, all my, you know, I was an only child, uh, you know, in, a, in the family. But uh, in the neighborhood was every, just every, every family had a whole bunch of kids, and they all knew how to ride their bikes because they had brothers and sisters, and they had, you know, hand-me-down bikes and that kind of stuff. And uh, 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 Let's see, 1971. So I went out for quite a while and uh, pushed my bicycle with my friends. You know, it, it was it was in a. Uh, not mountainous, but you know there were a lot of high streets in, in uh, where and where we lived, so. I was pushing my bike for, I don't know, for it seemed like for a long time. I mean, we're, not, we're talking more than a day and all that kind of stuff. Um, here's my mother with our dog. This was in 1952. I think this was still in, that's what I want to do is, you know, get the dates together and put them in a, like a YouTube thing, you know, maybe, maybe by date, by... Okay, here's my mother and father at, uh, well, it says me, but I'm not in a picture. My mother and father, July 4th, 1952, Savannah Beach, Georgia, Jim, Betty, and Jimmy. Here's a... Uh, postcard from St. Joseph Hospital. You can see this is an old postcard. Does it have a date on it? I don't see. This is St. Joseph Hospital. Uh, Darlene, who I married when she was 18 and I was 26, when she was five, she was for months, uh, she got polio. And uh, she was in the hospital for, I think, eight months. And I had my tonsils out in the hospital, at this hospital. And I ended up working at uh, St. Joseph Hospital. Uh, I worked there uh, for, I think, five and a half years. During that time, we had a, ten, a, a total of 10 security officers working. Not at the same time, but that neighborhood was so bad it should have been. And the uh, first officer was uh, permanently disabled, and the second officer, John Gallegos, was uh, killed. He managed to shoot the guy that shot him. And uh, this is 1952, says Jimmy in a boat. Okay, 52, so that would have been in... Uh, maybe Georgia, or that's when I, you know, 
that would have been in Georgia or uh, South Carolina. My, the federal government uh, put trailers up all over with no air conditioning, by the way, <laughs> uh, for the for employees that came all over the United States to you know work on the H bomb plant. It was hot. Okay, and I can't remember which. I think this is my youngest uncle. Uh, looks like he was in the Navy. It says 1945, taken February 10th, 1945. And I should be able to, you know, I should, anyway, I want to scan these, make, you know, make them better. Or maybe some of them I could, uh, okay. Here I am with our Cocker Spaniel and puppies, lady. That was, you know, that was a great dog, you know. How many relatives or somebody do you have, you know, do you have some relative in your family and, and maybe an older relative or something and uh, uh, they talk about, you know, their dog. Oh, you know, and you're thinking, you know, grandma or uncle or whatever, don't talk about your dog anymore. But that was a, we, we had a great, great dog. Uh, that's my father with one of my children. Here's a pretty good picture, black and white, of my father and mother. I call them Jim and Betty. See how much time, well, this is only 12 minutes. Anyway, I want to go through and take care of these. And I want to sort, I'm going to, really probably not enough, there's not enough room, but I want to, I guess I have to go through and sort these, uh, you know, start out, and then I have to go back and resort them and stuff. Uh, you know, to get them in a time frame, and then I want to put some other additional, you know, like information along with it. That's my oldest daughter, as a clown at Halloween or whatever. And now you know why I'm terrified of clowns. Here's something with a whole bunch written on the back. Okay, this is my mother. This is uh, 2020, 20, let's see, 2020 East 20th Terrace, Kansas City, Missouri. And before I left in 2000 to uh, leave the state, never to really return, except popping in for a few minutes to uh, pick up one of my grown children. Uh, but before I left, you know, all those years, I remembered, you know, the neighborhood, 2020 East 20th Terrace, the first house my parents owned. And we moved there when I was, I think, first grade. And uh, anyway, I thought, well, I should go see. And I, I, there was a, like the Tivoli Theater that I went to during that time, the grades that I was there first. Second, second, third, fourth, yeah, five years that I was there, <clears throat> I remembered it, you know, as an adult, I mean, you know, uh, and, and of course I went back and it was, well, I couldn't even get to, the, the streets weren't there, they, the school district or whatever had taken over a big area, the street I lived on, we lived on, and everything wasn't even there. This says, uh, Sunday, May 6, 1951. Uh, uh, my mother, Betty, uh, came home after exploratory lapar uh, laparotomy surgery uh, by Dr. Montgomery 
Wait a minute, 2020, East 20th Terrace. This says 3033 East 20th Terrace. Have I been wrong <laughs> all those, uh, I don't think so, all those years? Um, for the uh, premiere of the movie, BBS, uh, the uh, documentary on bulletin board systems, all my life, I had remembered uh, laying in the back seat as a baby during World War II when my parents were out there and, and I was out there. I had remembered uh, <clears throat> laying on the back seat and seeing the Golden Gate, the things of the Golden Gate Bridge, laying in a back seat at night, you know, the lights or whatever. As I flew into uh, the area, my LaDonna and uh, her husband, my oldest, met me, you know, at the airport uh, because they were living in Los Angeles at the time. <clears throat> but I realized then, no, I had the wrong, it was, see, it wasn't the gold, what was it, the other one that's out there, the bridge, because the Golden Gate Bridge, okay, now I'm not confused, the Golden Gate Bridge didn't have lights across the top, so what I saw was the, I can't remember, there'll be somebody out there that, this is 1966, January of 1966, that is Jim and Betty, my mother and father. Looks like uh, I can't tell. I can't tell if she's holding a flower or if it's uh, some type of a vase. Maybe they has, or maybe it's a. I don't think it's a drink, although they did drink. Um, Here I am. This picture's faded. I, it's faded, but you can you can still see it. But I'm just, I'll scan it. My kids at the swimming pool. Here is my mother. She does not look very happy. <laughs> Hold, uh, holding flowers. Okay, uh, <clears throat> June 1941, I'm guessing that's me and my father. I'm not going to put it up since I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, uh, this is my father when he was in, you know, in, in not in good health. Here's three of my kids. One of my kids. My father at the bar, at a bar. Here's my mother in her LPN uniform. And that would be my mother's, uh, in 1959, so I was that the year I graduated from high school. That would be my mother's sister-in-law. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, Willie. And uh, she was really, she was married to my mother's brother. And man, she had a hard life from him. He was a drink, he was a drinker from day one and abusive. And I'm not sure he was abusive, well, probably was abusive to her. But she was really a wonderful, a wonderful woman. She was, you know, a Baptist and she hated Catholics and we were Catholics, but she loved us. Uh, she had a, a boy that was born about the same time I was born uh, in 1941 and he died and he wasn't baptized, and someone told her that uh, 
her son did not go to heaven because, you know, he was not baptized. And I was in grade school, and on she, that, that really bothered her. Um, I was, I went to grade school, Catholic grade school, and I told her, Willie, no, you know, you know, God is like, you know, he's like our father. Uh, a father wouldn't, you know, keep his son or any, you know, and, and I just said, that's not right. The church, the Catholic church doesn't teach that. Uh, no, that's not true, but it, you know, uh, my father later in life, was he was a border maker all his life, and still, well, all his life was a border maker. This is in Poria, Kansas, at a motel. He was a, you know, business agent, so he traveled uh, four state area. I was, during World War II, my mother and father were both border makers building Liberty ships. Later in life, I was a border maker. That's one thing I have. I have their two union cards together, and then I have my union sort of card, whatever, and I'm going to put those together. And I've thought of actually making a little thing to put on the wall but it, with them, you know. Uh, oops. Okay. This is Skeet, and I'm not sure exactly. I think she's holding me. It's 1942. I think she's holding me. Uh, she... My mother's family, you know, they were poor. You know, her... I won't go into all the detail. Maybe I will when I, you know, when I put this thing, if I ever get it together. My mother's family was like uh, that, maybe it's sort of like the Hatfield McCoys. I don't think that's correct, but uh, a poor, you know, but farm people. And during the Depression, well, they had uh, okay these two people. I don't. Know, it's an old photo, and I don't know. Here's Ladonna, my oldest daughter, in 1971. And she's looking at that box of, of cookies. And uh, she's probably looking to see if they're union made. If you've watched some of my videos, you probably understand. Uh, here's a picture of my... Okay, here's Willie and her husband, my mother's brother. Well, they had, they had three children, and she had, after the one that died, then she had, a, a year later, she had one, Billy, and because the Howard family, you know, my family, or our family, or whatever, um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, not during World War II so much, so I was one of the older cousins, but there must have been at least, you know, when the men came home from the war and being Catholic, uh, I had a whole bunch of cousins, I mean, you know, 60 or more, but uh, Billy uh, was, uh, my favorite cousin. And that's the one that, you know, Willie, uh, she lost the child that was my age, a boy. And then she had another one, you know, and that was Billy. And we didn't see each other a lot, maybe once or twice a year. Some year we probably didn't. Uh, I'm not sure, I need to check that. I uh, uh, He uh, went to Oklahoma now, of course, he was raised by an abusive father, but you better not say anything about his father, or he, <laughs> uh, you'd have been in trouble. But he was raised by an abusive father. His, you know, he had to leave the place 
often, you know, at night to get away from it. And uh, uh, here I am, 1952, with my mother. I have a feeling that might have been after a school play or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, my cousin Billy, you know, uh, left <clears throat> 17, 18 years of age or something, went to Oklahoma. Uh, he ended up, uh, here I am, by the way, in 1971, holding my oldest uh, daughter. Over in that picture to the, I guess it'd be to the left or whatever, that where there's a bunch of picture in that, that's my father. You can't see it well, but I have the picture. Father's family. Anyway, uh, Billy ended up in Oklahoma and then somehow he ended up down in Texas with at a bar uh, with a supposedly, I don't know the details. And what, I, what we heard was, or what I heard was that with a good friend of his at a bar, and for some reason they got into an argument and just did, stepped outside to settle it. And uh, his friend shot and killed him. And I'm just totally, you know, guessing. Um, you know, what happened, I, you know. I think, you know, Billy might have been, no, I never, you know, we were good. We were cousins, and uh, he was a year younger than I was. He, you know, he bragged about me and stuff to people in his neighborhood and stuff. We never had any problem, but I imagine, and I never saw him angry, but, you know, with a father that abused him and whatever. Uh, here's my mother. This was in, I think, Savannah, yeah, Savannah Georgia, or, or whatever. Maybe, well, maybe not. Might have been in Barnwell, South Carolina. My father bought that car out there too. <laughs> Somebody ran into him. It was, you know, not major damage or anything, but ran into the new car. Here is a postcard for Research Medical Center. Uh, completed 1963. I'm not sure exactly when. Uh, at a cost exceeding $17 million for 500, that's, that's nothing, now, you know. But anyway, I ended up working uh, for Research Medical Center for uh, 18 years. Five years at the medical place, then uh, nine years or something at uh, Research Belton Hospital, right where I lived. See, how long has this been? Okay, coming up on 30 minutes. This is nothing. I'm, I'm going to stop here. I, 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 oh, I got to show you Hillary and a cat. She loves cats. That's my second oldest. LaDonna's, you know, first, and then Hillary was the second one of four. Oh, I, if you followed some, like especially like my WordPress, uh, that, well, I get the same. That's 1971. That's uh, LaDonna and then uh, that's Hillary crying because she's scared of Santa Claus or whatever. I posted this picture a lot on my WordPress thing, you know, at Christmas time, stuff like that. Thought it was a cute one. Okay, let me reach over here and get. I'm gonna stop, but I wanted you to see this one. This is me with my shortwave radio in my room. Oh, I really like that shortwave radio. Hob shortwave radio was my hobby for years and years and years. I did a radio program that was broadcast around the world. I was doing that 
I did it for, I think, I think I only did it for about a year and then they kicked me off because I objected to them editing one of my videos or my radio programs. Um, oh, I started several, I showed this, uh, that's Skeet. Um, in 1959, she had a, she was divorced, well, you know, she was married, then, uh, you know, she was divorced and single, lived in the country on the farm. We would go down there occasionally to, you know, we'd go down there if, if the rain hadn't, you know, put the road out or whatever. Sometimes we went down and had to turn around and go back to Kansas City or whatever. Anyway, she had a boy, and... Uh, I don't, I, I'm not sure if he was in the graduating class of high school or if he just graduated, but he was in the car with friends of his and the car went off in, like to, into a ditch, a little bit of water in the ditch, you know, very small amount of water. And uh, he was sort of pinned, I guess. And according to her, you know, the others got out okay, no damage to any of them, and he drowned. And uh, she was never right after that. I mean, she went into grief and stayed into grief. And she died, you know, eventually from grief. She was convinced that she raved, I guess, and ranted that, you know, that he'd been killed, that they killed him, or that he couldn't drown in a little bit of water. Well, yeah, you can drown in a little bit of water. And uh, it doesn't take much. Just cover your mouth and your nose, and that's it. But I don't know any of the details, but here's a wedding picture of my, of me and Darlene. Yeah, she looks happy, doesn't she? <laughs> anyway. Here's the Conception Seminary that my father, after grade school, my father went to, to be a priest of Vincentian at Conception Seminary. I, I might be getting some of this wrong. And... Uh, then he decided he didn't want to be a priest. <laughs> Here's my mother and father and Darlene and myself on our wedding day. Let me see if she's having second thoughts then. Might have been my ex-wife. Oh, here's my, here I am with my cousin that I told you about, Billy and his sister, so two of my cousins, Billy, Janet, and, and me, and uh, at Christmas. Here's my father at the, uh, at the seminary, before he ran away from the seminary. I'm going to try to, uh, fix that picture, you know, get it better. I mean, get it, uh, I'd like to get it better. That's, uh, when he went to the seminary, he went with, from grades, from St. Vincent's grade school, same school, grade school, you know, that because of the Howard family, and that was, uh, but uh, it says, uh, somebody wrote on here, James, have you seen this picture? Please send it back, taken in March of 1928. And wouldn't it be interesting if I knew who, you know, who gave him the, and if I could look and if they were alive and if I located him and, and uh, said, oh, by the way, <laughs> in March 1928, my father was supposed to return this back to you. And uh, here it is, uh, 2023, and I'm returning it to you. Anyway, let me see if there's anything really real quick that I uh, 
well, here's an uncle, and uh, uncle, and what would it, what's the, well, anyway, that's one of my father's brothers and his sisters, and, well, his mother's in there, too. I can't. Okay, that's, oh no, I got to show you this. this is, uh, there's a, quite a few pictures of us in California. Here's 1942 and Golden Gate Park, if I'm correct. Golden Gate, that's my mother and that's me. And then there's some pictures of me. Uh, also, uh, on that, standing on that uh, bench with squirrels, I guess they were tame, you know, whatever, in the Golden Gate Park or whatever, people fed them all the time or something, and I was trying to get away from them. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay. Well, let me just pull this up. Maybe see what the CNN news is. This is so slow. Let me do the speed test. Uh, it's going to be fast, our speed test. I don't know why. Do you have any idea why? Click on this. I'm running Windows 11. Maybe I need to go in somehow and maybe do some optimi optimizing or... Uh... Okay, well that's slow. Because uh, I did it a few hours ago and it was like 700 down. And so this... Uh, I may uh, need to uh, upload this video and then Go ahead and make sure I got everything plugged in correctly. Maybe it's just replacing the uh, cable. I mean, you know, running here, not the cable coming in. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for watching. Also, looks like. My video is frozen according to uh, what I'm seeing on my screen. Sounds like the audio is in sync, or it looks like, you know, it's in sync. Oh, wait a minute. I see something here. I don't know if you see it or not. You don't. CPU used 100% may cause system instability. Other applications are using up too much performance close them to reduce performance consumption. Oh, okay, so it looks like I have, not sure what I did wrong, let's see. Oh, anyway, let's, I'll figure this out. I'm not even sure you're gonna get this video in one piece, and we'll see what happens. Thank you very much.